Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to keep you updated regarding some possible changes that could be making their way to Google Chrome throughout the course of this year. Uh, in regards to the Chrome user interface refresh for 2023, which as I've been posting previously, um, we are getting some visual readjustments and redesigns rolling out and user interface tweaks rolling out to Google Chrome where we are getting more rounded corners and more material view changes coming to the browser this year. Now, um, a quick recap just for today's video, I'm focusing mainly on the menu. Um, at the beginning of April um, this month, I posted a video that um, Chrome in Chrome Canary now, which is a preview version of the browser, um, the menu, the main menu I'm talking about, had more padding and had more spacing between the actual menu items. And... Um, the find and edit, as we can see, uh, was now appearing together in a sub-menu and some other items had also been reordered. As an example, um, help and settings had been reordered and some other items. So that's just a quick recap regarding that. And then a couple of days ago, I posted that in Chrome Canary version 114, which is the latest release, uh, the main menu once again um, had included a new password manager um, listing. That also makes it a lot easier to create a PWA, a password manager web app, and we also get autofill and passwords. So those, that's just a quick update regarding some of the adjustments and tweaks that we could see roll out to the stable version. Now, the latest, um, once again, is just focusing on the main menu, um, where if we just head back to that, uh, we can see now there is a Google Translate option. And if we head to the stable version, none of those other changes have been applied yet, as mentioned. We don't have the icons next to each entry. There's no uh, padding and larger spacing between the items, as mentioned. Uh, edit, cut, copy, paste are all part of the own menu, where um, that's become, as mentioned, in the Canary version, uh, find and edit. So you get the idea. And those changes are not available yet in the stable version. So just to test this feature out regarding Google Translate, which is the latest, um, if we just head over quickly in Chrome Canary uh, to Wikipedia, and I'll just go to the German uh, site. And yeah, we can see if we head now back to the main menu, that Google Translate, now I can click on that, and that's just basically opens up uh, the same dialogue and shortcut in the Omnibox to translate that site. So um, at this stage, it just seems to be another way to access Google Translate, which is now part of that um, main menu in Chrome Canary version 114. And as mentioned, is not available as yet uh, in the stable version. And just another um, a slight UR tweak and change just to bring to your attention. Um, yeah, we can see if we just focus on the new tab button, it's now got the plus sign with a circle around it. So it's got a bit of a material fluent design change as I would call it. And if we head to the stable version, currently not the case, we just get the plus add new tab. So that's also another change that could be rolling out with the Chrome refresh 2023. So a lot going on, minor tweaks and adjustments have been made. Also toolbar items and navigation pane and icons and so on have also been changed as I have posted on. And I'll leave one or two videos down below so you can just get up to speed if you have missed those. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.